A harlequin's role is to serve. It's nothing without a master. No one gives two shits. We are beyond that. Today I'm going to show you how to get as close as possible to the Harley Quinn outfit of the new movie Birds of Prey in the cheapest and easiest way possible without sewing anything. I don't sew. And without hopefully taking a whole lot of your time. Oh, Thor says hi. In this video I will show you how to make the confetti jacket, the mallet, the shorts. Oh, I also show you how to make this wig that I got for $5 and I also got some hair chalk because if you buy something like this right now, this is gonna be $30 or more. And I got this for $5. Don't forget, everything will be linked down below of where I got things or if you want the actual zipper jacket, I'll also link that below. But keep in mind, it's much more expensive. Anyway, please support this channel by subscribing and liking the video if you enjoyed it. The first thing that I bought was a clear jacket in Amazon for $15. So it came in a little clear pouch and it comes with a hood, but the hood is separate. So thank goodness, cause she does not have a hood. And this is what it looks like. It feels very cheap, but it's only $15. So why not? She does not have like these white buttons. She has like a, a black zipper and you can find it in Amazon, a similar one, but it's gonna be pricier. And I did not want to um, spend a lot of money. I want to show you the cheapest way you can make this. So this is what the jacket looks like on. She doesn't have hers very long, so I'm gonna cut it. To make the confetti sleeves, you're gonna need curling ribbon. So in the video, I can more or less see these colors, and that's why I decided to go with them. It's white, purple, blue, uh, green, and red. The only yellow is the caution tape. So you also gonna have to get some caution tape. And I'm also gonna get some normal ribbon because I'm gonna use it to tape it onto the curling ribbon and it'll save you a lot of time. You're also gonna need some tape and you're gonna need a cardboard box. I got a shoe box, which is about 12 inches. The first step is to grab your cardboard box and grab your normal ribbon, cut um, to the width of the box and tape the edges. You're also going to flip it around and do the same thing to the bottom of the box so that we can have two strings at once. So that we don't have to be doing one at a time, we can be doing two at a time. And with the curling ribbon, you're just going to take one and wrap it around the box and do the same thing with every single color until you have completely covered the black ribbon. Then grab your glue gun and glue down all of the ribbon pieces. And this is so much easier than doing it one at a time. You can just glue a line and just press down the curling ribbon. Then you're gonna flip the box around and do the exact same thing to the other side. Now grab your scissors and cut off the top and the bottom portion to release two separate ribbons. This is so that you can quickly and easily glue on the ribbon onto your jacket without having to do every single curling ribbon one by one. Now it's time for the caution tape. I like to do this last because I like to iron my curling ribbon. Um, so grab your caution tape and just cut vertical lines of the caution tape and paste it onto your ribbon. I actually used my brain and I found an easier way to do this. So you grab all of your ribbon and you put it into a pole. In my case, I grabbed a PVC pipe. I'm just gonna use the same method as before and just twist it and twist it and twist it all at once rather than one at a time. Are you trying to help or what's going on? Here I am ironing my curling ribbon at a very low setting. 
Now grab your jacket and I like to start from the middle because we don't want to uh, extend the sleeve to be very, very long. So we want to start from the middle to the point where your hands are free. And go ahead and use your glue and glue that on there. And then use about one inch and glue another ribbon and keep gluing until you get to the top. And I also got this wig for $5 because if you try to get the new style wig, it's going to be about $30 and I don't have that kind of money right now. So I'm just going to get the uh, blonde $5 bob and I also got some hair chalk so that I can um, color one side blue and one side pink. This was also not expensive, I mean compared to how much a wig costs. Alright, so I'm just pulling up my hair, putting on the wig, I brush the hair, then you just grab your hair in two separate ponytails and grab the hair chalk and I'm going to use the light pink one and the light blue one. I just wet my hair slightly and start rubbing off the chalk on my hair. Simple as that. In this case, I'm grabbing a cup of water to make it a little bit easier to damp my hair and add as much color as you need. I also bought some suspenders because uh, she has like these hot pink suspenders and these are the cheapest ones I could find for good quality um, in Amazon. So this is what they look like. You're also gonna need a pair of torn shorts. I'm gonna use um, these old ones that I have. To make the shorts more legit, we're gonna have to have navy blue paint and red paint. You're also gonna need a pink crop top. I personally don't like showing my stomach, so I just got a pink tank and the cheapest I could find for goatish quality. And this is what it looks like. I added a silver necklace to accessorize. Okay, so for the shorts, I'm just grabbing some tape and taping it right one after the other just so it will be easier to determine the width of the lines. And I'm just gonna go over with my blue paint and paint the stripes. And then with my red Sharpie, I'm drawing stars and then adding the acrylic paint, but don't cringe. I'm doing it with a toothpick because I did not have a brush. Then I remove the tape once it is dry and you are good to go. And I'm pairing it up with my black booties. And this is the final look. Now for the mallet. So I decided to use one PVC pipe for the mallet. I'm gonna use some of the navy blue paint that I'm gonna use for my shorts. I'm also gonna use an empty container. Um, I chose oatmeal. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap it around with this cork type of paper that I found at Hobby Lobby for about a dollar. And to wrap around that, we're gonna just use this printout of this template that I made for um, the the middle part of the mallet. So grab your mallet template. I will link one below that I created and just cut off all the excess white paper that you do not need. Grab your cork paper and I'm just tracing out um, the outside circle of my container because I only had one paper. And then just cut out that circle and paste it onto the bottom of the container. Then grab your container and cover it with the cork paper. I'm putting my container in the middle to save more paper because if you were to use it in a vertical manner, it wouldn't cover the entire container. Grab your glue gun and glue that paper onto your container. Cut off the excess and keep adjusting it as needed. Then I'm going to draw a similar 
death smiley face that she has on one of the ends of the mallet. I'm using a black sharpie and a red one. Then add the mallet template that we printed out and cut. And it did not cover completely, but that's okay because we're gonna put the stick on the bottom anyways. Now we're gonna write the quote that she has in the top and bottom of the mallet and it says, ha 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 you're killing me or am i killing you and just alternate colors between blue and red then just paint your stick of choice i'm using a pvc pipe um i'm painting it blue and waiting for it to dry and then i glue it on with my glue gun And that's it we've reached the end of the video please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up leave a comment below if you thought this was easy and helpful see you next time